now we come to the special feature of our program, the appearance of our mystery celebrity. And my friends are asked to blindfold themselves on this occasion. The blindfold's all in place, panel. That's all. Good. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? panel, as you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we go to a different form of questioning. You ask one question at a time, in turn, moving clockwise, and we'll begin with Miss Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, have I been in the same room with you since midnight last night? Now. One down and nine to go, Mr. Gable. Are you a woman? Yes. Miss Francis. Sounds as though she's underwater. <laughs> uh, are you um, are you a picture personality? Uh, are you a what? A picture personality. Films, that is. Films, cinema, flicks, flicks you know. Yes. Yes, Mr. Poston. Uh, have you also appeared on the Broadway stage? Yes. Have Ms. you Kilgallen? red hair? I beg your pardon. Have you red hair? Now. Two down and eight to go, Mr. Gable. Did you just make a picture with the great director, Mr. Billy Wilder? No. Three down and seven to go, Miss Francis. Some no's are stronger than others. <laughs> yes. Is it possible that there's more than one person there as our mystery contestant? Yes. Oh. <laughs> there's more than one. That's right. Mr. Poston? Uh, uh, do you, uh... uh Write as well as perform. Now. Four down and six to go, Miss Kilgallen. Are you related to each other, uh, other than professionally? Yes. Is one of you a man? <laughs> yes. Miss Fredson? That makes it tidy, anyway. Uh... No do, opinions on this show. Uh, when you appear, do you appear together professionally? Yes. Mr. Poston? Uh, I'll have to waste one. Are there uh, more than two of you? Now. Five down and five to go, Miss Kilgallen. Uh, would you say that you were primarily motion pictures rather than Broadway stage? Now. Ah. Uh, I would say here, if you will permit, that uh, this is up six up and a half a dozen down with perhaps the weight on the side of the motion picture. So we'll hold that question as qualified yes, Mr. Gable. I pass. Uh, well, there we are, <laughs> <laughs> Miss Francis. Martin, how unlike you. Uh, we we uh, found out that you are, one is a man and one is a woman, is that mm, correct? Right. And that you are related uh, in some way? We found that out already? Yes. Uh-huh. Um, uh, would it be a deeply emotional relationship like marriage? Yes. Mr. Poston? Well, then I assume that you're not blood kin. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is one of you, uh, it happens down home. <laughs> would, uh, would, uh, one of you be, uh, primarily a singer? Six down and four to go, Miss Kilgallen. Do you both dance? Yes. Oh. Mr. Gable? Oh. Are you Margin Gower champion? Yes! yes. was a wonderful idea. <laughs> that was Gower's idea. That's a marvelous idea. It's the first time I think that's happened. There was no timbre in the voice at all to identify. We, we couldn't figure. You know, we knew we both wanted to answer, but how could we do it so we, you wouldn't know there were two of us? Oh, very good. <laughs> you might have tapped it out. Shows you that marriage <laughs> makes two people as one. Yes. Oh, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it, Arthur? <laughs> 
And may I say that you should both, I think, I know you are very proud of that great ovation that you got when oh, you came in here. pleasant indeed. And may I say then that it gives all of us so much pleasure to find you on television so often and in the movies and also on the stage, and I trust this goes on forever and ever and ever. Well, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, so thank you, dear. It's so wonderful of you both to join us. Thank, thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you. in balance, panel, we must say that you've uh, done very well tonight, and we'll be back after this word from our alternate sponsor. <laughs>